I'm gonna get banned from Disney. <laughs> I swear, we're about to get banned from Disney. Last summer, I got my cake pops removed, and the plan up until recently was to get my marshmallow wand reconfigured into a marshmallow tunnel. Unfortunately, a few weeks ago, I noticed some hair regrowth on my marshmallow wand. That's bad because the outside of the wand is what becomes the inside of the tunnel, so you don't want hair growing there or else it's very uncomfortable. So I talked to my surgeon and he said that it would be best to postpone the procedure until after hair removal is complete. This is obviously disappointing because I was really excited to have a marshmallow tunnel sooner. That being said, it is still happening. We're just not sure when it's happening. Hair removal is a fickle thing and it's really hard to predict when it will finish. But my hair removal technician thinks it will be before the end of the year. So, fingers crossed. Oh, God. Want some? My mom's here, by the way. The marshmallow tunnel. You get wacky on me. What the f are we talking about here? So what we all basically just saw in that first clip was a grown man dressed like an adolescent girl sitting in a park for kids talking about getting his wedding tackle lopped off. Nothing to see here. Anyway, welcome back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. So I have a fairly quick and very crazy weekend Cloud World update for you guys today. And as usual, we have, well, very little time to waste. So let's get into it. Now, if you place your attention on the screen for a moment. So here we have another one of those before and after transition photos. If we look at the before photo, we have a young, healthy man in the military with a little smile on his face, holding his rifle, looking like he's ready to kick the tires and light the fires. If we look at the after transition photo, we have the same young man looking a little sickly. He grew his hair out, put some makeup on, pierced his lip, and is wearing a woman's blouse and trousers. Welcome to the cult of gender ideology. Mm, mm, mm. They're the same face! Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! All right, let's keep it moving with another case of severe, severe TDS, also known as Trump derangement syndrome. Now, these people want Trump locked up at any cost. Regardless of if he's found guilty of any crimes or not, you just want his life ruined and to see him suffer. And don't get it twisted. You want the people that voted for Trump to suffer the same fate. Now, always pay attention to the eyes. It's the window to the soul. Roll it. Lock Trump up. 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 The eyes, Chico. They never lie. All right, next up we have this clip from Eurovision of this young lady who comes from Ireland whose name is Bambi Thug. Now, one of the journalists asks her, what makes you special? Roll it. What makes me special? <laughs> come on, come on! Do you, know, do you know what makes me special? I'm a queer. And I'm a witch! And I'm, you know, I love art. I love drama. I love theater. I'm going to give you a show. I forgot the rest of your question because I'm dissociated. <laughs> what did you say? I'm a queer. And I'm a witch! She's fit for a straight jacket. This brought three ways towards the weekend. All right, next up we have this pink-haired young fella who is a biological man that identifies as a trans woman and, of course, calls himself a transbian or trans-lesbian. That's not relevant to this clip. Here he's doing one of those TikToks where he's having a discussion with himself and pretending it's two people. And he's talking about trans people in sports. And he says... How can we create our own league when there's less than a hundred of us? Less than a hundred of you? I've done over 900 videos on this channel and there's generally at least one or two in each video. So how the f*** did you come up with less than a hundred? Roll it. 
Transgender people want to play sports so bad they should just create their own league. How? There's less than 100 of us. How are we going to create an entire league for transgender people with only 100 people? And what sports are going to be? Hmm? We only get to play one sport? And is it going to be a trans women's league or is it going to be a trans men's league? Because I'm sure you didn't forget that trans men exist too, right? I mean, not to be rude, but how is any of this my problem? It wasn't a problem until you made it one. Transgender people have been competing in sports as long as sports have existed, and it's never been an issue until you made it one. Bye. Who, who the f*** do you think you are, you crazy little shit? Right, so let's go with his estimate for a minute that there's less than a hundred of them. So he wants to change all of society's rules in sports and everything else for less than a hundred people? That's why most of them sound like selfish, self-centered narcissists. Anyway, next up, so here we have the woke comedian again. We've seen him here on the channel a few times before. Now, he identifies as trans non-binary and uses they, them pronouns. Now, what's interesting about this clip is that if Dave Chappelle or any other comedian talks about trans people in their comedy act, get mercilessly attacked for it. This fellow can get up here and talk about straight people and it's no big deal. No double standard there. Roll it. Stand-up comedy and there's lie-down comedy. <laughs> and that's heterosexuality. <laughs> I'm just joking. Uh, can't you take a joke? Sounds like we have some straight people in the crowd tonight. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for being you, seriously. Um, namaste. <laughs> stay, bitch, stay. I'm literally obsessed with you guys. That's me being culturally sensitive. You, you guys, yeah. This is a safe space for straight people. You're allowed to laugh at me for the next hour and not get called transphobic. <laughs> the major fangirl, I follow some of your community leaders on Instagram. <laughs> it's important to diversify your feed, okay? And cisgender heterosexual influencers teach me so much about love and light. I've been watching from afar to learn more and I finally figured it out. Heterosexuality is a masochistic endurance performance art piece. <laughs> where you run into a wall over and over again, and you're miserable, but you just keep going because brunch. Yeah, that's not funny. So that was the punchline? Brunch? Anyway, next up. So this lovely young lady says that white people walking on the sidewalk, the biggest problem in Chicago. Now, this gets clipped off at the beginning. She says, Somebody should write a book about, she'll take it from there, roll it. About how much space white people take up on a sidewalk. I really think it is such an interesting thing to observe just out in nature. I feel like even with the least spatially aware black or brown person, white people possess even less spatial awareness. Anytime there's somebody in my way here in Chicago, it is a white person. And I wonder if this lack of spatial awareness has led to all of the white women who are claiming Chicago is like really unsafe for them. They've had all these scary things happen. Because in my opinion, if you lack spatial awareness, you don't even understand how people are perceiving you and therefore you don't know when you're being perceived as a target. Just to make sure I'm crystal clear when I say this, I am not by any means blaming women for what is happening. This is of course a man's problem, but as women, we have to be spatially aware. We need to know 100% how the people around us are perceiving us at all times if you want to be safe. So takes care of the problem of like letting people around you go around you, you know, when you're walking really slow on the sidewalk, walk at your own pace, I don't care. But, you know, if you feel that somebody's behind you and they're they're trying to get around you, move. Or, here's another idea that's going to be very controversial. You could shut the f*** up. Guys, real quick, we, we don't have any sponsors for today's video. If you'd like to sponsor the next video and help support the channel, there is a PayPal link in the description box below. And I will say your full name as a sponsor of said video unless stated otherwise by you. Man, this is creepy. Ugh. Maybe that would fall under the category of creepy. All right, guys, we're going to be wrapping it up with this man on the street style interview where this young fella asked this young lady, how many dimes are in a dollar? 
watching her try to come up with the answer is fucking painful. Anyway, things are clearly getting very crazy out there, guys. So please take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Love you guys. Peace. Roll it. Earn a dollar. How many times earn a dollar? There's 10 cents is a dime. And then four quarters make a dollar. So let's see. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. Isn't it? Um, I don't want to say a hundred. No, wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Four quarters, 25 cent per, qu per quarter. And that's four. Okay. So a dime is 10 each. So that's two dimes gives you a quarter and a half. I'll give you a question. Okay. So, okay. Now one and a half, one and a half. Now take your time. Take your time. One and a half quarter. One and a half quarter. No, not one and a half quarter. Okay. <laughs> okay. Two dimes. Two dimes. Is 20 cents. <laughs> then you do another. <laughs> yes, yes, you're on something. Two, you're on something. and then yeah. so three, that's 30 yeah. cents. And then you do that. <sighs> okay, okay, sorry. No, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> Where's my pit? No, no, no calculator, no calculator. <laughs> no, not my. Okay, so I can't count on my hands. Okay. And I just want to say this I'm not an engineer, no, no, major, or a math major. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so just guess a number. It's fine. It's whatever. Oh wait, this is the little thing that they do, and they put it on the um, the little thing. Okay, so yeah, my name is Oshun. It's uh, two dimes gives you. I mean, uh, two two dimes give you a dollar. Are you fucking retarded? What the hell's the matter with you? And you ain't black.